everyone, I'm back again today to film another video. If you can't already tell what this is by what's in the background, this video is going to be all about my different pencil cases I've used and what I've just had to store my stationary type items in my purse um, and what I've been using since I started my planner life about a year and a half ago. And this is kind of like a unofficial part two to my pen collection video. I thought that was a really fun video and I really enjoyed showing you guys all my different pens and what I was using. So I thought maybe someone would be interested in seeing the pencil pouches I've used and pencil cases. So I'm just going to get started with my very first one I was using when I first got into planning is this one. It's a, I think it's by Clinique. I know that my aunt got it when she got um, some perfume or something from the Clinique counter and so she gave it to me. And I really like it. It's just really simple. It's just a pouch. There's not, no pockets, nothing. But it's just a pouch. I think I have some, yeah, I have some erasers in there right now. But I do really like it. The only thing I didn't really love about this bag was how big it was. It's pretty large. And so because it's large, I decided that I would fill it completely to the top with all my different pens and stuff I was using. Because when I was using this, it was when I first started planning and I was using like gel pens and I was just experimenting a lot with what I liked on the pages and so I had a lot of stuff in here. And as you can see, it really did stain up really poorly, I guess would be the right word here. It just, it doesn't look very nice anymore. You can see the burlap at the bottom has like started to rip and there's getting like, see it's ripping over there. Yeah, so I liked this and it did hold up for a really long time and I carried it with me everywhere that my planner went. And I really did like it, but I moved up to this one once I started college. Because this one I actually got in the same package that the kids that I um, nannied for. I've mentioned this in other videos. When I like, I nannied for them and then when I left for college, they gave me like a package of a bunch of cool like stationary stuff that they had gotten up north. And so this came from them and I really loved this. This is a Blue Q bag, which I think is all recycled materials. I'm not exactly sure on that, but I'm pretty sure it's all recycled. I know, I'm well, I'm pretty sure on this too, is Cory at the Reset Girl. I know that she really likes these bags. And I understand why, because they're plasticky. They're not, I don't know if you guys can hear it. They're like, see, they're like plasticky. They're not just material like this one was. They're, they're like plastic, so they don't stain and they don't, get messed up as easily um and I really do like it it's it looks like an old package like if someone was to put this through the mail and I really like it because it has different languages and a lot of stamps I don't know if I've ever mentioned this but I collect stamps like use stamps um so I, it just reminds me of that and I really like it because of that but the reason I stopped using this was because it was so big again that I just continued to fill it up and just add more stuff to it until it got too heavy where it was just impractical to keep so I still use this regularly and it's normally in my school bag, but I don't carry it with me in my purse everywhere I go. The next thing that I got was, were these Stetler pens. And for a while, after I used this one, I got sick of carrying this big thing because as you can see, my hands are not big and this is like pretty large. So I just transferred to these Stetlers or Statlers or however you say it. I transferred to just carrying these 10 pens and I liked it. It was okay. I liked... I didn't like the pens, but I liked the general design of the hard case um, because it's not flexible and it wouldn't get dirty or messy or anything. So I did like that. But as I mentioned in my pen video, which if you're interested in that, check that out. It was, I thought it was pretty decent. Um, but as I mentioned in that video, the pens skip really bad in my opinion. And that's why I stopped using this because I didn't like the way the pens wrote. And so it was not worth it to keep the pen case if I didn't like the pens. So moving on, I then got this Webster's Pages um, portfolio thing. I got this at the same time that I got my Webster's Pages planner when they first came to Joanne Fabrics. So I just grabbed this like right away, impulse buy. But I like it. It's um, a little tiny folio with it has a pocket back here, this um, net pocket, a pocket over here, and then another pocket over there. And I really do like it. it I don't know if this would be a pen case. I just included it because I did carry this for a while. Um, but you can stuff, what I did like about it was you can stuff more than just pens in here. So I put like notepads and stickers and some sticky notes. Here's some over here. And I really, I don't know, I just liked it. And you can always put pens like in one side and keep the other side just to have stationery or to have stickers. And kind of have like your own little planning station on the go. So I did like this one. I do carry this. Like if I know that I'm going to be at Starbucks for an extended period of time or somewhere else, I will take this with me. So there's that one. Let me just pull these out before I put it off to the side. And then the, my next pencil case was this little guy. Um, this is 
Stitch from Lilo and Stitch if no one if somebody doesn't know it was a really popular movie when I was like younger and I actually had two birthday parties um in Stitch theme when I was little because I loved that movie and yeah I really I really like Stitch so this is why I have it I just got it off eBay I think it was like a dollar sixty maybe or a dollar 70 right around there it was really cheap and i do really like it the zipper is pretty good quality it's starting to rip right here but in my opinion for how much i was using it i think it's pretty good quality especially for only a dollar so yeah and i just have this little tassel i made this when i first started planning i made this one so yeah that's my stitch pencil case i actually keep this in my purse now but i keep this for receipts and stuff that uh, um are for my etsy so it's not really pencils anymore it's just receipts and like paper thing paper items for etsy and stuff like that so that's why he's in my purse and then lastly well not lastly almost lastly is this i think it's who is it by it's ashley Ma ashley mary or ashley marie it's just this double-sided double zippered case from target it's a makeup case i found it in the cosmetic aisle but it just has two sides, which is awesome. So I keep my planner and stationary pencil, everything else in one side, and then I keep like my like sunglasses and chapstick and allergy medication and all the other stuff on the other side. So I think that it's really helpful because it, while it is bigger than like, here, I'll show you. It's bigger than the Statlers by quite a lot, but it keeps a lot more items in it. So I can, just keep one pouch instead of having two floating around my purse so I do really like it this is probably my favorite and I actually picked this up because I wanted to get the hundred Kip, the Kipling hundred pen case but I didn't grab it so I just picked this up instead because I thought it was way more affordable it was only eight dollars on sale at Target so and compared to like 50 or whatever those um, Kipling cases are going for which is a little crazy to me I understand why people get them but uh, I think this is better for me so the last I guess pen storage item I have is not really like something I'd carry in my purse. Obviously, these just sit in my on my desk. They're just little buckets I got from Target. I have a blue one, which I showed in my last um, pen collection video, but I just like them. They're easy to keep pens in, so you don't have to unzip and then rezip and then stick it in and you know everything. So I just keep these on my desk for stuff that I use regularly. I have on my desk, which I'm going to be doing a um, desk tour pretty soon of, but I have a pencil cup um a sharpie cup and then i have my pen cup so yeah that's what i keep my pens in storage that's how i store my stuff um in my purse and on my desk so thank you so much for watching i thought this was a pretty fun video i love watching these videos on youtube like i love seeing how other people keep their stuff because that's um i don't know it's just interesting to me so if you have a video like this on your channel tag me or tell me in the comments because i would love to watch it um i will talk to you guys later thank you so much for watching bye